Hello Leo, this is Stacy, and I'm coming to you from Southern Mississippi. So today we're going to do a short tarot reading and we're going to start off with what's crossing you. So we had a card jump out, the two of wands. All right, and we also have from the Hermetic deck, the law of self-knowledge. And we're going to pull one also from the angel deck. Alright, and we're going to have the angel. Israfel which means awaken. The daily mantra is, I am alive, I am awake, I am that I am. All right, and for your immediate future, we have the Eight of Wands, I mean Swords, excuse me, Eight of Swords. All right, this is kind of a rough card. But we're going to go ahead and pull all the cards first and then do the full reading. The Law of Frequency. This is for your future, okay? And the angel that corresponds is Hanael, which is the glory of God. The glory of God. Feminine Divine Communication. All right, and in your truth revealed, we have the River of Tears, the Three of Wands, journey of a journey to paint to a point where you don't know if you want to go back. So you still can turn back, but you don't know if you want to. All right, and then the Law of Attraction, as well as the Angel Zedekiel, which this one is the Angel of Mercy. Alright, and for the final card, which is your final outcome, we have the Chariot, which is um, basically like you're being pulled in two directions, but radical success, alright, and in your Hermetic deck, we've got the Law of Freedom, and with the angel that goes with this we have a cherubim. Alright, so the cherubim is um, kind of like the little, um, kind of like a little monster that stands outside of the gates of heaven and they um, they're constantly changing their faces and their features, but they protect heaven. They're the protectors of heaven. All right. So it kind of looks like the Sphinx. The protectors of heaven look somewhat like the Sphinx. All right, so let's go ahead and do the reading. So Leo is a fire sign, and the first card right here is um, four fire signs, which is the two of wands, and it shows that you're planning, you're progressing, um, it says that you're holding the world's right in your hands. Now this could be you or this could be someone that you're close to. Um, you may be planning, plotting, dreaming, and whatever the process is that you're going through, um, it must be done. So don't forget to dream and plan 
and your goals will come to you. All right, and then the Hermetic card with, goes with that is the Law of Knowledge. So knowledge is going to get you to where you're trying to, your goal. All right, and the the Archangel Saint Israfel is the Awakening card. And I read the mantra already, but it says, I am alive, I am awake, and I am that I am. The Master is the one who is awakened awakening all right so it looks like you're well on your way with your plans and in your future we see the eight of swords which is a depiction of a person who's standing there and she's wrapped up she's not able to move and she's feeling isolated um, very very self-limiting um, containment um, there's security issues maybe feeling a little powerless and in need of protection there is um, some something about imprisonment maybe your soul is feeling imprisoned or the emotional lack of clarity it says there could be you could be feeling like a stick in the mud like you're stuck um i think the pandemic has got everybody feeling like that um it's just really hard right now everything's really hard um but the card that goes with it is the law of frequency um vibrations and frequency is something that um you know keeps us going every day i think when i think of a person and a person's frequency i think of that daily schedule the things that you have to get up and do every day over and over and over and then um the archangel card that goes with this is hanael which is the joy of god glory of god and the divine feminine and divine communication all right, so this is a very strong protector of souls. So someone, um, the Archangel Haniel is watching over and protecting your soul. This particular um, angel is associated with turquoise. Um, the rays will guide you in finding your purpose. So you need to get some turquoise and put it on. All right, truth revealed. So the truth is that preparation is needed. <laughs> we do have a couple hurricanes out in the storm, so I hope you're all doing your preparations. Um, plans are underway, and there's a journey to a point. It says that you still can turn back. So maybe you're not 100% sure that you want to make this journey. Maybe um, you need to, or you feel like you want to, or it's one of your goals, but for some reason you might feel like, maybe I don't want to do this. Um, just be aware of the pending challenges that you might face in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. All right, and the law of attraction is the hermetic card that goes with this truth that's been revealed. Um, the law of attraction is basically um, very similar to, it, it's whatever you put out, you get back, you know, and basically if you put out tenfold, you're gonna get tenfold back. If you put out nothing, you're not going to get anything back. So whatever you're putting out into the world, you want to make sure that it's good and positive um, because it will come back to you tenfold. So the Archangel Zedekiel is um, shown as a violet ray of light and they're, um, they're known as the righteousness of God. Jupiter is their ruling planet and it provides abundance okay and the card for this one is uh the day of the week is saturday so this angel of mercy turns to god for mercy and forgiveness virtue and freedom and positive affirmations 
So if you are struggling with whatever it is that this process that you're trying to go through, um, just make sure that you do your positive affirmations if you're feeling down or just prepare if you have to give a speech or anything like that. And the final outcome is a very good card. It's the chariot. Um, the chariot is radical success, more popularity, more travel, more problems. Okay. So what's happening though, even though you're taking off and everything's going well, is you're being pulled in two different directions. But overall, this is a good thing because you're moving forward. Um, but you're holding on to two different um, chariots and they're pulling you into, you know, forces, two forces, you got to try to control them. So it says to make sure that you evolve and, and take advantage of any social opportunities that might come your way. Because of COVID, I'm going to have to say be, be careful <laughs> with any opportunities that you might be going forth in the future. Um, and the card that goes with it is Law of Free Will. Um, free will is something that was given to us by God that supposedly the angels don't have. Um, they cannot just freely do as they please, um, despite what television shows might let you think. Uh, the angels supposedly were not given free will um, as we were. So we need to always consider that free will is something that was allotted to us and not to, um, you know, just to be careful what we do. All right, and then the cherubims. This is my cheesy little drawing. So it's a lion with wings. This particular card um, is a lion with wings. Now the funny part is Leo's, one of the signs is lion, and um, the cherubim are the protectors of heaven. So it, it almost looks just like the sphinx, but it has wings and it's a, a lion. So the cherubim sits outside of heaven and guards the doors of heaven. All right, so let's get a couple cards for solidification. All right, let me see. prepared. Here we go. All right, we're getting started. We're going to take a couple cards from the Oracle deck, which is a handmade Oracle deck that I made, and it's just lessons and different types of, um, you know, things that happen to you and how it makes you feel and things that you need to do to accomplish your goals. All right, so here we go. Fruition. All right, fruition is just being aware that um, everything that you do has some type of, you know, it causes an action. So if you're thinking negative thoughts, it can cause negative actions. If you're thinking positive thoughts, it's going to bring positive actions. All right, and the next card is anchor love they don't always agree with you but they guide you to the light oh that's sweet all right one more for solidification and that is trust all right so you may have to wait for real trust to form all right so whatever the situation you're going through you might have someone that you're trying to trust someone that maybe you're not sure you're ready to trust them. Um, I guess sometimes you have to have your guard up. So let's pull one more card just because um, it's going to line straight up with your final outcome. So I'm going to do another shuffle. All right. 
watch out for impulsive decisions. All right, so impulsive decisions is not just buying things. It could just be um, not listening whenever somebody's telling you something. Um, you're not really thinking of the full situation or um, and you react impulsively without thinking. Um, so just make sure that you're not acting impulsively or making any kind of rash, irrational decisions. Um, all right, that's that's about it. The other, the last card, I just have to th throw it out there. Rejuvenation. All right, so um, definitely take some time to rejuvenate. Um, anything that you can do, get you a hot bath, will definitely help to calm your soul. All right, good night, Leos. Thank you. Like, subscribe.